Hi everyone, it's Anita Lambert, your holistic health physio. And today I wanted to share with you a breathing technique and visualization that can be really helpful to release and relax your pelvic floor during labor and during birth. So this is a breath I commonly um, share with clients when I see them during pregnancy to help them prepare for birth. So let's take a look first of the pelvic floor and why this breath can actually be helpful. So our pelvic floor exists at the bottom of our pelvis. So it attaches from your pubic bones to your sits bones to your tailbone. So that whole diamond shaped area of muscle is actually part of our pelvic floor. And so it sits at the bottom of our pelvis to help support the bottom of our deep core uh, canister. Now the diaphragm, which sits above, it sits underneath our rib cage. And the pelvic floor and core, and pelvic floor and diaphragm are two parts of our deep core, and they work together. So you can um, think about them as a piston. So Julie Weeb, who's a physiotherapist, often talks about these muscles working together if you picture how a piston works. So the diaphragm at the top, pelvic floor at the bottom, as you inhale, air comes in, the diaphragm lowers, and our pelvic floor also lengthens. As you breathe out, our diaphragm lifts to get the air out, and our pelvic floor should lift as well. So that's why you can think of it as a piston, as they should work together. Now, this particular breath for birth, we call the flower bloom breath. And so the idea is as you inhale, you can picture your ribs opening, uh, picture like an umbrella, picture like an accordion, a nice inhale, the diaphragm is lowering. Now, while it's lowering and our pelvic floor is naturally lengthening, if you visualize a flower blooming, so picture a flower blooming out of the bottom of your pelvis, so out of your vaginal opening, you're gonna think a nice inhale flower bloom. As you exhale, you actually want to picture keeping the flower open, keeping it blooming. So that can add to releasing the pelvic floor. So you're gonna think inhale, flower bloom, exhale, keep the flower open, and you'll continue that breath. So that's a wonderful breath that you can um, practice while you're preparing for birth. So in various labor positions uh, that you're practicing, so whether you're using a birth ball, um, whether you're sitting, kneeling, standing, lying, it's a great breath to practice in all different positions. And it's also helpful during birth, during the actual birthing or the pushing phase of birth. And um, you can ask your doula to remind you or ask your uh, birth partner um, to remind you as well to think of that uh, breath and that visualization kind of throughout your birth journey. It can be quite helpful to keep that pelvic floor nice and open and nice and relaxed. So I encourage you to try it out, practice it ahead of time uh, before birth. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.